We got two guys that are bringing spots. We have a third guy that's on the verge of bringing a spot, if not hoping he has the ability to steal a spot. And then there's a few other weight classes, like I said, that you're literally one upset away from figuring out a way to, to steal a spot. And uh, with the team we have, you know, we're, we're kind of in the mode that talking about in practice here is just who's going to go there and who's going to beat someone they shouldn't beat and who's going to, you know, maybe place when they weren't expected to place. I think that if you can, you know, if our two good guys can do really well there and you can get some other guys to go in there and figure out ways to place, you can, we can place in the middle of the max somewhere. I think that's our goal. I think, you know, we ended at the bottom during the regular season and we had a really young team. I think we're still recovering from the guys we lost last year and we do have a lot of young guys on our team that we thought could be starting, but we just felt at the end of the day it was better they redshirt and get, and get, you know, get a year under their belt before we just throw them into the, into the mix. So this is, like I said, it's new for every coach. Um, and, and how we handle the, the weekend, we'll kind of figure out as we go. We've, got, we've been doing enough tournaments like this that we can say, all right, here's what we're doing this round, here's what we're going to do this round. But for the most part, it's, you know, we've got the two guys that will be seated higher in, in the tournament, which we're expecting them to make it through the, the, the bracket. And everyone else, it's, a, it's more of an upset game. Who can they upset? Who can, who can figure out a way to place? Or who can figure out a way to get in the top three? And who can figure out how to take a, steal a spot? So we'll know more, a lot more once we get the allocations for the conference. Just been, you know, working hard getting ready. Um, I think it's been good. I, my body's been feeling really well. I'm really motivated right now and I really believe that I'm going to be the MAC champion. So. Oh, it actually makes me more confident going in. The two-day eight-man bracket for me, I didn't like having one match, two match a day maximum, so now I can get at least two to three matches in a day and for me, especially at longer tournaments, the more matches I have, the better I wrestle. Like You get me six, seven into the day and I feel better. So. The more matches, the better. I actually love it. I think it's awesome because it's a bigger conference. It's a more intense. The tournament's going to be a lot more intense. And I just think I'm just going to be able to showcase how great I am. And that's the best, one of the best, you know, ways, one of the best tournaments to show it, you know. Because it's going to be so competitive. It's going to be so intense. And it's just going to be a lot of fun. So I'd love to go off with a bang, win a title and everything like that. but. The MAC tournament is really just a stepping stone to the bigger thing to get on the podium at nationals, everything like that. But it'd be great to win. That's obviously the goal going in. Confidence is high, but it's still just kind of like the pre-goal before the end goal. So for the team, I expect us to do pretty well. We've had, a, we've had some ups and downs this season, but I think we can pull it together at the end of the year. For myself, I have high expectations, and I believe that I can be the MAC champion. And from there, I think I can really be an All-American. And I've been extremely motivated, and I've just been working hard towards that goal. So.